What? Whoa! No, 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 no. I think I'm not. No! Hello and welcome to episode 2 of whatever it is hunting us kind of deal. I'm scared to go even outside because I did a little research what that is that is hunting us and it turns out it is one strong mob and I'm not joking it's one strong mob that has ability to just kill us without any issues the issue with the mob is it is invisible until it hits you if I'm not wrong so yeah that's a zombie villager we don't care about that guy so 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 I don't know what is our plan of action here I don't think we can see it on the map maybe it's that fast uh, moving I don't know or maybe it's around here somewhere I know this is kind of cheating but you know we really don't have that much thing to do apart to well die because apparently that mob yeah strong so let's try and get outside i guess before we begin video be sure to check out our host berry bite they are a very reputable and very good host and let's begin but i'm even scared to move because you know i mean if we die we don't lose items so i don't know what is up with that if that's intentional or not but for the content we're gonna go and conquer our fears and if it's that mob we will just die in two hits and not see it and i'm gonna get scared because i don't like horror things i'm a scaredy guy so yeah hopefully it's a bit wider mob so we can cheese it at least a bit i mean we have let's create our logs here we have a bit of blocks we can block ourselves in if it gives up time but yeah and looks like it is night time outside and yeah that's it's outside like all i know oh it is raining amazing all i know the mob is two white eyes and is that it no that's some kind of thing the worst part of everything around here is Oh no 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 those are some kind of blood flies I don't wanna see. I don't know where our home is, which is not good. But yeah. Let's see. So our home should What is hitting me? Oh a spider is hitting me, of course. Wait, you can enter one block wide? Since when? Not cool, not cool, spider. Our home is here, so let's place a temporary waypoint. We need to survive till then. Oh, and there's something glowing out there. And there's something sparkling up there and it's getting in the air. I don't like that. There's a horse and a skeleton shooting me. And those are some big ass pumpkins. But for the content, who is hitting me now? I'm dead. Well, at least we are home. In the wrong house, but we are home. I just realized I used all my cobblestone, so... Yeah, we need a bit of cobblestone. Let's dig a hole here and hopefully nothing kills us, right? And I hate this auto tool because I didn't tell it to mine dirt with uh, pickaxe or axe. Oh no 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 no! That's a creeper at my door. 
And this villager, if he wakes up, he's gonna go for that door and we're gonna explode. Which we don't want to happen. Right, villager? Right. So we need to smelt some iron and yeah. One time. Now, why the night is suddenly... Oh, is it daytime? Is the sun coming up? Because the sky changed, like, very differently to what it was. Okay, phew! We survived the night. Let's go deal with that creeper. Hopefully it's not around the house. Okay, it looks like it's not around here. Is it behind the house? I don't know where that creeper went, but I don't think I wanna find out. But why do I have a feeling I'm gonna find out? And it won't be on my notice. I really need to heal that iron golem because he's our only defense in this crazy world right now. Thank you for your service, my guy. You are the best. Yeah, that's not the place you wanna get stuck in, so I'm gonna make you a bit of a road so you can go out and hunt, out, hunt down those mobs. English. Hello, Fels Knight. Is that your Fels Cave? Because, you know, you seem like you enjoy it. And is there some mob you wanna fight? Because I don't wanna lose you in that cave. But. Oh, yeah, there's nothing here. And I like those guys' trades. So you can trade one emerald for 16 arrow, or you can trade one emerald for 32 arrows. Economics. What is that? Crafting or repairing modules using an axe may sometimes use up fewer materials. Oh! Provide some sort of effect when tool parts are crafted or modified in nearby workbench. Okay. Interesting. And I'm preparing pickaxes like we are gonna go down in the caves again. Which is totally correct, because we are going down back in the caves. Even though I got spooked out like crazy in the last episode. Because I hate scare... Scary things. You understand that? I know you do. Thank you for acknowledging that. Okay, that's interesting. 130 torches, but the arrows don't stack about 64. But we can place our arrows in the uh, weaver. But how? I have no idea. So my main goal still is to get a full iron armor. Which might be a bit harder because, you know, the caves are scary. But let's try to fu- Did I hear? A uh, arrow? I must be dreaming. So anyways, let's try and find some cave. Okay, and go down. Hold up, is that is that a waystone just randomly on the beach? Can we take it? Unbreakable Mrokresar Kreasar. Can I not break you? Oh. So we have waystone in the middle of nowhere and there's some ruins underwater. But if I'm wrong, there should be caves around here somewhere, right? What is that? Coconut slice. What are those noises? Wait, do you make those noises? Oh my god, that's scary. Now this is fun stuff. So you can make coconut husk when you eat coconut slice. And then you can make soups in them. And I can bet you if you eat them, you're gonna get bowls. Yeah. Makes sense. But yeah, this looks like the cave we were before, so let's go and hopefully not die by some kind of scary mob like... I mean, we didn't die last time, but you know, you never know what you're gonna encounter down in those caves. And what chased us last time wasn't nice at all. I mean, water looks like can pass through those crystals or can't. What is that? There seems to be some kind of stuff down here. Oh? Hello? 
a bed and a bit of ball okay 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 this is nice rest area and let's go down in the cave again and i'm getting assaulted by skeleton right away is that my welcome again to the caves no scary mob but this time skeleton shooting me from mile away what oh that's cave creeper <laughs> okay he exploded like normal creeper and there's a cave above my head okay and what is that spider egg i mean what did i expect from spider egg of course not creepers oh ho, ho, no 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 that's a big cave that's a big cave and that's a lot of spiders that can maneuver like i don't like them to maneuver okay 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 looks like we are safe for now let's collect those blocks and i think i seen a one more spider yeah and you can jump and climb on the walls yeah this is scary this is normal not scary at all i'm totally okay with this no scary caves we found some silver which i don't know what it is used for so let's check is it useful for us silver ingot and we can't craft oh we can craft armor oh i like that but looks like it's pretty expensive now what is that embedded ammonite huh what is that used for oh nautilus shell and i forgot what is not loose shell used for few things but it looks a bit mermaid dresser what bobber bobber uh the word i can't say because we're on youtube oh and we found some lapis lazuli now if we only had enchanting table and diamonds and you know stuff that we can use it on it would be good black argolite okay not something we need big ancient vase this looks like trap but looks like it wasn't and it gave us useless loot oh i missed this just a bit of xp okay and looks like this episode will be caving episode even though i wanted to not make caving episodes looks like this is interesting in this oh jade ore what is jade now what can we make with jade oh we can make armor that is strong oh and heart of diamond okay celestial leather ingot oh what those items are interesting but yeah let's continue doing you know minecraft stuff and i just realized on the map it says night so if i'm not wrong the thing that was hunting us last time was hunting at us at the night time now i don't know if the message comes each time the thing is hunting us or if we're just gonna die randomly spelunking okay and the deep caves are well dark <laughs> what the fuck what the hell is that <laughs> what Whoa! No, 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 no. I think I'm not. No! Not ready for those horrors! I hate this movement. And we are home. And why did you go outside, villager? Get inside, you dumbass. Woo! My heart is pounding. My heart is pounding. Woo! What did we just encounter? Not good. Why is your like doing that? I don't care. I'm blocking off the door and whew, no joke, like I'm really sweating right now. I mean, it's hot where I am because, you know, I'm using the climate thing to heat my house, but damn. 
I didn't even read what those things were. I just died. But I hate that movement because if I'm not wrong, that movement is explained somewhere, yeah, around here. And what happened is I wall jumped. Look away from while 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 running next to it and jump. No shit, you can chain together wall jumps, though it's difficult. Yeah. And you can zoom, and you can roll, which I didn't use yet. Or you can climb, which I used a few times. Yeah, this is the crouching, what we did. Uh, this is fast run, vault, which I also hate, but I don't like, but whatever. I guess it's useful in some situations. And carry, hey, hold on. Oh, we can carry the mobs! Yes, I love that. I love that, I love that, I'm gonna carry the cows into the pen near us. Yes. Are you happy? So, while stuff is cooking, let's see what do we have here. So, welcome. Yeah, I won't be taking this because it's just XP, but I mean, eh, whatever. Let's complete this first stuff. Yeah, I'll know all of this. I'm familiar with stuff around here. Oh, right, I need to craft an ender eye. But yeah, let's see. So, easy eyes. Easy eyes. I don't know, like, what do I have done? I don't see anything I've done in easy eyes. Did I get a slime ball? When did I get a slime ball? Potion of bounciness and sticky piston. I mean, I'll take them, but I don't need them. Wait, we got more rewards here. Or what? Where? Oh! Hey, Bale. Farmer hat. Okay, I guess. Yeah. We can take that. Useful items. Uh, waste stone. Okay, I like that. We got a waste stone. We can carry with us. And is that it? Yeah. No, no, no. We got one more. Let me try and locate it. Oh, it's a torch. Oh! 64 torches. You don't say I'm gonna need it. Of course I'm gonna need it. Contracts, long-term big item rewards, okay. Nothing else here. Bounties, those who live in the overworld and Everwind villages. Okay, I'm gonna take XP levels even though I'm gonna die probably. Shop, combat specialist, okay. Okay, a lot of XP which we're gonna lose because we're gonna die, but whatever. Is that all? That is all. And the movement. More XP. Th thank you for all the XP I'm gonna lose, right? And can we put this villager hat so we look dumb? Of course we can. Yeah, I'm one of you now. How do you feel about that? Wait, why do you hear Enderman? Is he a dangerous Enderman? I don't know what is dangerous and what not in this mod pack. But I don't see any Enderman. I guess we are safe. So, what can we craft with you? So, Jade Samurai Chestplate, we need. Ruby, which you can get from. Okay. Some kind of mob, which we're gonna probably die. Then we need Steel, which we get from. What the hell is this? Ventium ingot or gob steel scrap. Oh, we can get that, but what do we. How do we get Ventium ingot? Okay, from ore, but blue skies. I don't know nothing about those mods. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. So I'm looking at the quest while I'm waiting for stuff to get done. And water breathing 2.0 also lets you breathe about Y320. What? What do you mean it lets me breathe about Y320? Do you mean it goes up? Okay. Oh, so this is my best friend. Use it. Okay, I'm gonna use it when I unlock the first Ender Eye. Because I need to go to Nether to get the Ender Eye. Which is gonna be a bit hard because the underground is so hard. Yes? Yes? Am I wrong? Of course I'm not. And you know what? 
I say we do something interesting. So we got leather armor. We are prepared for everything. Right, right. Let's go and explore the sea and probably die a horrible death because, you know, the sea is probably the safest option. Well, not the safest option we have right now. Oh, look, a bit of sugar cane. Seashell. What does the seashell do? It creates a sand castle or a seashell tiles or a seashell block. In other words, it's useless for how little they are. And a crab? Mr. Krabs, is that you? Oh, it's a coconut crab. I wonder what do we get if you kill you. But yeah, let's start our sea exploring. Probably there won't be anything that kills us in like two hits, right? Okay, that's nothing interesting over here. Where is the nether stuff? Those are fishies, fishies. The nether stuff seems to be around here. Oh, and that... That's here. I don't see anything here. And what is that? Is that ice? No, that looks like to be logs. Driftwood logs. And what is that? Oh, that looks like to be some kind of... Whatever it is. Oh, barrels. Maybe there's some kind of loot. Cold ocean. Okay, we got ourselves an iron helmet, an upgrade. Oh, and an iron pants and a bit of obsidian. I like that. And is that barrel there? Oh, no. Let's go back up a little. And that's a lot of... Well, not stuff we need. Curse of Vanishing. Yeah, that's not good. But okay, this was nice. And since we got this bad boy I'm holding in my hand, we can basically go anywhere and get back to our base instantly, which is a plus, so we can go explore and probably die. Oh, no, 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 what the hell is going on? What the hell is this? I didn't mean literally die. What the hell was that? Okay. It just ate my boat. I don't like that. I was just joking about dying. Please don't kill me. Woo! As I said, this mod pack is full of scary surprises, even though it's not a horror mod per se. Uh, oh, we got two villages. We got 140 blocks there and 600 blocks. Do we see it on the map? No, but we see some kind of purple stuff. So let's go 400 blocks this way. Now this purple thing looks like to be at the same time hostile, but also not hostile. Oh no, it's 100% hostile. When I hear piglins, did I... What? Oh, that's a spawner. Find a mushroom house. Okay, we found a mushroom house. And a spawner there. Okay, we're gonna light this place up. We don't want piglins, they do a lot of damage. Okay, we can place torches on there. Let's take a break in the leather. Because this can be a certain dead. Oh no, they got a golden sword. That's not good. Okay, but we got the high ground. That's right, we got a thing called high ground. And, oh, that takes a lot of time to break. That's not good. And we broke it. Amazing. Let's see the loot we almost died for. So, uh, two iron and a rose bush. Okay, that's nice. And a lot of chess piece figure. Pandora's creatures knight. Okay. A wither rose. Like there's a lot of stuff we might need or might not need. I'm gonna place my waist on here and just teleport home quickly. To empty our inventory. The hoarding begins. That is correct term. And we got a lot of stuff. Yeah, hoarding begins. 
yeah looks like clearing this is gonna be a bit harder than i expected because those guys are spawning here and they are not affected by the light yeah oh and we got a whetstone which increases melee damage by 15 percent nice and that down there sounds horrible for us to go so yeah it's time to finish the second episode this time we died only once yeah we are getting better but anyways thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next episode stay awesome bye Thank <laughs> you.